first, Beto's back. The former Texas congressman is running for president of the United States. The only way for us to live up to the promise of America is to give it our all and to give it for all of us. Beto O'Rourke now joins an already crowded field of Democratic presidential hopefuls. Thank you for joining us. I'm Gilma Avalos. I'm Ken Molestina. The bid comes nearly four months after a narrow loss to Senator Ted Cruz, a race which garnered a lot of national attention. Beto O'Rourke tweeted out a video declaring his candidacy to be president of the United States. We can begin by fixing our democracy and ensuring that our government works for everyone and not just for corporations. And then the former Texas congressman wasted no time hitting the campaign trail, holding his first event in Iowa about an hour after he announced. Keokuk is the first stop in our campaign to be president of the United yeah. States. O'Rourke visited every Texas county when he ran for the Senate seat here in 2018. That style of politics could play well in a state like Iowa where they like to meet the candidates before they caucus. This is my first time to meet most of you here in this room, and so I'm looking forward to the conversation, to hearing what's on your mind. Beto enters the race with name recognition and a proven ability to fundraise large amounts of money from small donors, which could help him in the initial polls. O'Rourke joins a long list of Democratic hopefuls, which may also eventually include former Vice President Joe Biden. Who is considering a presidential run of his own. I just say whoever it is, I'll take them on, okay? Him or her. So far, President Trump has only one announced challenger on the Republican side, former Massachusetts Governor Bill Weld. Well, the Des Moines Register conducted a poll in Iowa over the weekend that showed Beto O'Rourke fifth among Democrats behind Joe Biden, Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, and Kamala Harris in that order. Make sure to watch CBS this morning. Tomorrow, Gail King will be sitting down with Beto O'Rourke for his only national TV interview following his 2020 announcement.